following his success in the Group 1 Blacks of Fake at Albion Park last Saturday night, courtesy of a brilliant drive behind the Jason Gripson trained Majestic Cruiser. Cam Hart returns to Club Monagle on Saturday night with an interesting book of drives. Caught up with Cam to discuss the prospects of which one would be greeting the judge. Well, first of all, Cam, congratulations on the success in the Blacks of Fake. To all concerned, Majestic Cruiser, who's now become a very serious Grand Circuit horse, yourself a brilliant driver, and of course, Jason Grimson, who's just taken Majestic Cruiser to another level. Yeah, thanks. Uh, no, it was a great result, and you now he hasn't let us down in the big races. He just keeps going to another level, really. Um, every campaign he's had since Chase has had him, and you now we got a big thrill in New Zealand, and then for him to back it up in Queensland was uh, no, great for us and, and Des and Heather Glynn, uh, the owners as well. He's certainly a determined character. Yeah, he definitely is. You know, he just gives his all and, you know, full credit to Jace. That's sort of how he's been training him since he's had him. You know, he's really got his confidence up and, you know, he's, um, you know, hard to stop at the moment. No doubt he will be directed towards the Inner Dominion? Yeah, definitely. You know, he was really competitive in the last Inner Dominion in December and um, I'm sure he'll be right up there again. Well, Cameron, have a look at your drives on Saturday night in the first yard. He finally broke through for a deserving win here last week. Yeah, you know, he's been a little hit and miss since he's been in Sydney, but he's definitely got a bit of talent and he showed it uh, last Saturday. So pretty happy to get back on him and he's, um, you know, Jack's got him now and, yeah, he's fired last week, so he should be a good hope. No doubt when you see horses like these, Cam, once they get their confidence up, they can go on with the job. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, since the first time I sat behind him, I knew he was a horse with plenty of ability and hopefully he's just starting to put it together. Trevor Monday has two horses in the second. Glen Avril King nicely drawn in two. A little bit disappointing last week. Ben Long Valley, just a consistent customer. Yeah, I think I'll take Glen Avril King. He's got a nice little draw there and he had a bit of a tough trip, um, you know, first up for a little while. So had a bit of success on him and he's got a good draw. So, you know, I am expect a good run from him. Well, Cameron, growing up, brothers very rarely take any notice of their sisters, but come Saturday night, race six and number two to fight, you're going to have to be listening to Ash because she'll be handing you the reins as the trainer. Yeah, that's right. Um, nah, it's just lucky Ash is pretty laid back, so hopefully she'll let me do as I like. Um, but I'm sure there'll be a couple of little instructions, but um, you know, she's probably got a bit of a trainer's mindset where she um, she probably won't want me to, to really gut him or whatever if she'll want a horse for next week. And I've got that sort of driving mentality where we're out there to win. But um, yeah, we'll definitely, uh, we've got a good draw and the horse raced really well last week in his heat, so I'm sure he'll be a top chance. Exciting times for the family. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, Ash has always sort of been an, I uh, wanted to become a trainer and she's been around, you know, plenty of good trainers the last probably six or seven years and really learned her craft and she's just starting to get going now. So hopefully this horse can do well for her. That was his second run back from his Group 1 success. That run would have topped him off nicely. Yeah, definitely. He's such a big doing, uh, good doing horse, you know. So a couple of runs in, he's definitely going to be sort of getting to his peak now and um, I'm sure he'll race well. He's got a beautiful draw, similar to what uh, he had with Group 1 success when Peter McRae was in the sulky. Would you be looking for a similar run, just a nice, kind run behind the speed? Yeah, probably. Um, there's probably, you know, Dean St. Oscar's horse was really impressive and also Amanda, so it's a strong race. But, you know, from the draw, we've got options. So he's definitely a strong horse and I wouldn't be surprised if he could lead and go sort of 51, 52 or, or even take a trail. So... You know, it's good that he's versatile and it should give him his good, a good chance. Yeah, we certainly wish Ash well as she looks for the first of, no doubt, will be many wins as far as her training career is concerned. Now, Cam, in race seven, naturally gifted for Wayne Dimmick and is naturally gifted this horse. Yeah, he's a uh, very talented colt and, you know, he had a bit of success at Bathurst. We couldn't quite get up but run second and run a really good race. So he's sort of been a talented horse the whole way through and, um, you know, I flew back from Brisbane on Thursday to drive him and the, the race got cancelled at Penrith, so it's good to get back behind him uh, this Saturday. You didn't drive him in the Penrith trial win, but it did go very nicely. Yeah, Wayne said he's been ticking along really well and he's probably come up a bit better than they, you know, probably thought. Um, he thought he might have been two or three weeks away yet, but he's going so well and, um, yeah, he should run a, good re a really good race. I gather there's an air of confidence there about Defiant. Do you see him as your best? Yeah, I'd say so from the draw and, um, you know, I know he's probably a horse that takes a couple of runs to really get prime, probably like Trev did throughout that, um, those Group 1 races, he, he really got him prime for that night after three or four runs, so I think he'll be at his best Saturday and, yeah, he should be hard to beat. Once again, congratulations and good luck for Saturday night. Yeah, thank you.